Hey everyone, today I want to share with you a Linux tip that will solve a number of problems with Zubuntu 14.04 LTS that were specific to my Asus 1215N laptop with the hybrid Intel NVIDIA Ion graphics adapter found on a number of laptops, not just Asus. Um, you'll have to check for yourself if you have one. Links to all of my resources will be in the description below. The first problem that I ran into was with the function F5, function F6 backlight control hotkeys not working. I'll pop them up here for you to see, to show you what they look like, okay? Um, these are actually working on my laptop right now, but this is, uh, this is what it looks like. Getting right into it, the first step is to open a terminal window. I have a shortcut to my terminal window right here. Okay, and we're going to type LSPCI space dash lowercase v pipe space grep uppercase VGA. And in this case, you can see I do indeed have two video graphics controllers. The first one is the Intel Corporation Atom Processor in Integrated Graphics Controller. And the second one is the NVIDIA Corporation GT218, which is a discrete video controller. Um, now we want to find out what type, of, uh, what type of system our laptop is using for the backlight. So we'll type ls space slash sys slash class slash backlight slash. And you see we have ACPI video and we have Intel backlight and the backlight is controlled by the Intel uh, video graphics processor. So if you have this, if you have Intel backlight as one of your, uh, one of, one of your um, video controllers, then uh, keep going. Now here's a little shortcut that I like to use when I'm creating um, files or uh, browsing and I need root access to the directories. In Zubuntu we have a file manager called Thunar. In, uh, in Ubuntu it's Nautilus, so whatever your, uh, whatever your particular file manager is, this is what you would use, but in, in Zubuntu it's Thunar. So I'm going to type sudo Thunar. It's going to ask me for my password. And what I've done here is I have launched Thunar in the present directory, which is right now my home directory. Uh, you can see that right here. And um, I now have root privileges. All right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to go to our file system over here. All right, here, here is uh, some of our other directories. Okay, but we want to go to user, share, x11 zorg.conf.d Chances are you will not have this file in that directory named 20-intel.conf So what you'll want to do is you'll want to right click on this space and create a document and create an empty file. This will also create the empty file in that directory using root privileges. So since I already have 20.intel.conf I'll uh, just to show you type 21.intel.conf and I've created that file. Okay. So I'll double click 20 Intel CONF to show you what I've put. You're going to copy and paste this entire section right here from the description below into your 20 Intel.conf file. Save it and then reboot your computer. Okay, so now we've got the backlight hotkeys working, but they only work with the Intel Video Driver. Installing and using the NVIDIA Driver is going to break it again. The trick here is to make them play nice together using the Intel Driver for routine tasks and the NVIDIA Driver only when needed for graphically intensive applications like web browsing and OBS Studio that I'm using here to record this session. We do this by installing a free program called Bumblebee 
after we install the video driver. Okay, so from your Applications menu, go to Settings Manager and click Additional Drivers. It's going to search for available drivers for anything that you may have on your computer that are not part of the Ubuntu repositories. These will be proprietary drivers. And this window will show you what drivers are available. Now, if your computer is using the Xorg X Server Nuvo Display Driver, then you are using the Intel driver, and you are not using the more advanced NVIDIA discrete graphics driver needed for more graphically intensive applications. I already have the NVIDIA driver installed, so what you would do is you would click on this. That would change your radio button from here to here and install the NVIDIA updates, uh, the, the most recent NVIDIA updates proprietary driver, apply your changes, and then reboot your computer. If the backlight control was working before, chances are it's now broken again, but you're now using the faster NVIDIA adapter driver. So now, let's make them both play nice together. Install Bumblebee with the following command copied and pasted from the description below. We're going to open, a term, open our terminal window, and I'm going to paste this into place for you, and hit enter. It will go through the installation process, and if you didn't already, if you opened up a new terminal window, it will ask you for your password before getting this far. But I'm going to cancel out of this right now. because I don't really care. I already have it installed. Using Thunar with root privileges again. I'm going to navigate to Etsy, Bumblebee, and we're going to edit xorg.conf.nvidia. This file was created when we installed Bumblebee. At the bottom, we're going to paste this text, from again, from the description below, into the file, and then save it. After we've saved, we reboot the computer. After you reboot, your system should default again to using the Intel driver, and your backlight hotkeys should again be working. The NVIDIA driver can now be invoked as needed for specific programs by preceding the command with opt-to-run. Okay, uh, it's just spelled O-P-T-I-R-U-N. And in this case, we'll launch uh, Chromium Browser. Okay, so opt-to-run Chromium Browser. And Chromium Browser has now been invoked using the NVIDIA graphics adapter. Now in the same way that I added GKSU to the command Thunar in this launcher here, you'll see that in Chromium, if I right click, go Properties, Edit, you'll see that on my launcher I've also added OptiRun to the command line in the launcher. And you can do this uh, on launchers that are already created for you or ones that you create yourselves from your desktop. So I have OptiRun on Chromium Browser. I also have OptiRun in OBS Studio. So for these applications, I know that I'm running the NVIDIA driver for all other routine tasks, uh, including my backlight control with Function F5 and Function F6. I can set my backlight intensity and everything works just fine. Also, there are many instances where your web browser will launch from a second application. For instance, if you have an email open and you click a link in your email, you want the browser to open, but you also want that browser to open using the NVIDIA graphics adapter. So to do that, you simply go into your settings manager click on Preferred Applications, and for your web browser, 
I simply have my my custom browser set up to also include opt run in front of that command. So anytime the anytime the browser is invoked, it will automatically be invoked with the NVIDIA graphics driver and I will achieve the, the best possible performance. This tip should also greatly improve your Linux gaming experience on any hybrid graphics laptop. This video is being captured and recorded with OBS Studio Multiplatform for Linux and it replaces the Webcam Max that I relied on for all of my live broadcasts. It relies on OpenGL 3.2 or higher only found in newer video drivers. For me, this made my divorce from Windblows final. I no longer have any use for Microsoft products and all of my Windblows partitions have been blown to the wind. I hope you found these tips useful. Please see the other links in the description below for all of my reference materials used. And as always, please rate, share, comment, and subscribe. And peace.